All right, so we're here at the show. It is about 20 minutes before they open the doors. A um, bunch of people are going to be here, like my buddies that have been in my videos in the past. They're going to be here in a bit and stuff, so we'll probably meet up with them at some point. I have a bunch of people that I've met across social media that have channels like mine that are around 500 and 600 and stuff. Um, I'm going to meet up with a bunch of them, talk to some of the companies I work with and stuff, um, maybe film some for them, as well as just checking out all the custom stuff. It should be a cool show. Brandon Paul is speaking today, so I'm going to meet him. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's get inside. I'm going to show you guys just what this whole show is like, looks like and all about. Oh, enjoy. So we have track mounted stuff, we have even a trail type system, that would be a Hobie thing, so I'm not sure what they have for our set. I'm trying, I uh, can't remember. I we think do it's... have, uh, like if it's a, is it a round rail or is it like a X shape? It's thing? like a, I don't know, um, yeah it's like that. Oh it's a track system like yeah. this? Oh yeah, well we can. We have the one inch and an inch and a half. I'm pretty sure most of those, you have the brand transducer arm? I don't have that. I have an in hole transducer, a through hole. Oh, okay. Because I, I got a Garmin with a through hole kayak transducer. Okay. They make like one specifically for going through. Um, yeah, I, I've heard of those where you like glue it inside yeah. or something. It has like a foam circle thing mm -hmm. and it sets inside of that. Gotcha. I use it for ice fishing too, it's about this big. That's but cool. I use that. Yeah, so whatever your display would fit on, if, if it's inch or inch and a half, <clears throat> these are really easy. You loosen this up, that extends out that T piece, put it in the track, and then you just tighten it up and mount your display on there. Yeah, that is RAM. I, yep, that's yep. a RAM ball. I'll probably go with this. Okay. That's what I've looking online it's hard to know yeah you just have to know That's, if your display takes the inch or the inch and a half yeah it's i don't i don't even easy. have the oh, the mount for it yet yeah i have a seven inch screen and it was the yeah, inch, then I would it was, that. yeah yeah i'm gonna go watch the speakers okay who is it i don't know okay. yeah i'll go with that sure i can leave you up right at the uh okay yeah, let me get a video yeah. <laughs> been pretty busy today uh today it, we went well, basically our lure is so different that people come by and they really love it and they, they say they're gonna come back and usually they make a round and then they come back usually they don't buy it immediately usually they make a round and then right, everyone back. starts here it's, yeah i know because it starts usually we, we get it we get them like on the, on the comeback we've only uh ryan ryan bought some stuff and then uh some, some other guy bought some stuff a lot of other people i know for a fact are coming back just because they, they were talking to me for a long time and they said they're gonna slide back that's how it's basically is usually just because it's so different you have to swing back by too. But, yeah, good luck. I'll be back by, by and stuff throughout the day. Yeah, have, you too. Are you gonna buy some fishing ones in today? 
No, dude, they're 25 bucks here. That's stupid. They're 20 bucks. We gotta go to bed for you. You got. Oh yeah, yeah. Along. <laughs> I need to see that. What happened to the good old 8612s? <laughs> hey, Ethan. why are you getting so close to his face? Because yeah, are these the new Echo that? Matt Pros? I'm going to talk my dad into buying some pan Oh, watch <laughs> it. Yeah, we're going to keep walking. We're about halfway done at the show. Uh, halfway? No, quarter. not even quarter. Alan, you're going to get this one for your kayak? Yeah, we're going to get some pan optics soon. Alan, you can have that talking you about it. Oh, they're stinky. They smell like garlic. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get a lot. Next year, probably too, and stuff. Oh yeah, we'll be set up here next year for sure. This is our second year here, and uh, people seem to really be uh, liking it. See any uh, new improvements in the company in the future? Yeah, I think uh, we've got a lot of different products thought of, but uh, right now I think we might we might look to get these in gold, but that that might be our next change, and that might be our biggest change. So. Right, so there's a lot to look forward in the next year's season, and. Definitely. Uh, if you guys have not yet seen Luda Lure, check them out on what, what's your channel? Luda Lure on Instagram, Facebook, Insta, YouTube. Check out Alan's channel, AOA Fishing. And um, thanks for checking it out. Alright. Did this year is we, we separated the bass and walleye series and we did a bunch of upgrades on our rods so in this particular case this is one of our walleye rods we kept uh, some upgraded cork handles on there as far as the uh, grips we changed the reel seat to be a palm swell type reel seat which keeps your hand and everything connected all the way through the plank and actually increases sensitivity we kept the pack bay minima guides on the reel on the uh, guides which we've never had an issue with as far as popping out or have anything problem with those. We upgraded our tips. You can see that they're a little bit better. We did have uh, a couple of things where we wanted to upgrade that and so a lot beefier. It's a Fuji tip on that. But we still keep the matte black finish as far as the walleye rods go, but we did a lot of upgrades to it which people have really liked. The next thing we did is we took our we took our bass series and listened, and so we changed the color on those just to differentiate. It's the same guides, the same tip, so we upgraded the tip on that as well. But what we did here is we changed to an EVA, EVA grip, two-tone grip on that. We added the hook hanger down here for all your drop shot guys so you don't have to take the plastic off with the hook out of the plastic. Same thing on the, on the real seat here. The casting models, same thing, we upgraded that, made the entire rod that much lighter. So come on out, stop by our booth, we're in the Fish Tech booth, booth number 525, and come and see the new models, we're running the discount. Alright, we're finishing up at the show, I think it was pretty cool, I met a lot of people, I had some people walk up to me and recognize me too, shout out to you guys, it was, I love when people do that, it's truly like kind of amazing to me but we're gonna head out and grab some food because we're all starving check out i'll show you guys what i got what she got too and um we're gonna go hit the ice but that's gonna be a separate video so you guys will have to wait to see that until it's posted anyways if you guys enjoyed the video and i'm gonna cut you guys over to a cut cut scene some b-roll of all the stuff check it out
the world, yeah, I want the world, yeah, I want it all, said I want the world, yeah, I want the world, I'm coming to get it, don't care what you heard, don't care what you heard, I'm taking it all, cause I want the world, yeah, I want the world, yeah, I want the world, it's too easy feeling too comfortable, I don't think I can be satisfied,